Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, we are going to learn how to animate telephone ringing in After Effects. So for that, this is the illustration we are going to use in this lesson. And this is how I have separated the layers in Adobe Illustrator to prepare the file for animation. Ok, now let's jump into After Effects. Ok, so here are the separated illustration layers. Now we are going to select the where layer. Let's solo it out. Now we are going to add few pins on this layer so that we can animate this where like a where. So I'm going to put one pin over here, one over here, one over here, one over here and one over here. So right now we are going to select this puppet option under effects and wares and turn on the twig bezel plugin. Go to links and constraints, click on add bones and it is going to add bone layers with pins. So we are going to rename these bone layers. Alright, so now we are going to select this layer and let's parent this with this one. Now we are going to parent this pin with the phone body. Let's desolo everything. Now we are going to parent this pin with the receiver. So when we move the receiver, that should be moving together. And we are going to select all these three pins, this three and parent it with five itself. Not five, it would be one. So when we remove the receiver, everything is going to move together and we can add some internal animation in the pins. Now after that, we are going to parent receiver with phone body and we are going to move the anchor point of phone body, put it at this point. Now this illustration is fully ready for animation. Ok, now we are going to animate the receiver. So we are going to select the receiver, press P to open the position, put a keyframe, press R to open the rotation, put a keyframe, press U to open the properties with keyframes and then we are going to jump on to next around 6 frames. And let's pull it above somewhere around here. And we're going to rotate it slightly this side. Let's give it minus 6. And then we're going to jump on to next around 5 frames. And we're going to give it the opposite side of rotation, which is 6. Then again, we're going to jump on to next 5 frames. Copy and paste the initial keyframe. So here it is going up and there is the ring ringing effect of the telephone. Now we are going to select the keyframes and just easy is the keyframes. And then we are going to select this ring effect. Copy this keyframes, paste it once again. So here there is another ring. And we are going to do it multiple times. So here it is going to look. Now while it's ringing, it should come up and down as well. So there would be slight amount of position animation. So I'm going to bring it down a bit at this point. Again at this point we can copy and paste in the previous keyframe. And alternatively we can copy and paste the position keyframes. So after that, we are going to jump on to next 5 frames again and copy and paste the initial keyframe. So here is the final position and we are going to go inside the Cruff editor and decrease the ease at this end a bit. Same with this end, we are going to decrease the ease a bit. Now let's check out. Well, it's too much. We can slightly give an ease.
okay so after that we can add some overshoot at this point after it strikes this body then we can slightly bring it up a bit maybe very slightly not much and at this point we can give slight rotation on this side maybe one degree at this point minus one degree not minus one about 0 0.5 then at this point we can just copy and paste the initial keyframe now let's check it yeah now here you can get some overshoot of effect maybe we can decrease the height a bit it's too much all right now if we just offset the rotation it is going to look even better but we can do it later on after doing the whole animation so the, our next part is to animate this wares so now we're going to add a few keyframes on these three pins so we're going to select three pins open the position keyframe put keyframes on position and we are going to fix the position a bit maybe we can smoothen off this curve a bit somewhat like this and at this point we can even drag it this side at this point we can simply copy and paste this keyframes and we can do it alternatively So at this point, we are going to simply copy and paste the initial keyframes. But we are going to add some overshoot to the wire as well. So put some keyframes at this positions. Now at this point, we are slightly going to move it in the opposite side of the motion. here we can move it very slightly now let's easy is the keyframes let's check out the animation so let's just slow down this part a bit i think we can slightly bring closer this keyframes so we are going to bring the keyframes a bit closer to each other. Maybe this one as well. Let's check it now. Again, it is going to look better when we offset the keyframes. So now we are going to offset the keyframes. First, we are going to offset the rotation by around one frame only and then we are going to offset this wires as well so we are going to offset it by around three frames and this one from this one as well and this one from the other one as well let's check out let's fix this position a bit Yeah, this one is looking better. Now, after that, we're going to add some squash and stretch altogether. So, before it jumps, before the receiver jumps, there would be some squash effect to add some anticipation to the whole animation. Now, we're going to select this body. Press S to open the scale keyframe, scale property. And then we are going to jump on to previous six frames. Put a keyframe over here. At this point, we're going to squash it a bit, maybe around 
Now again jump on to next 5 frame. We are going to give it a slight stretch. And then we are going to go back to its original shape. So select the keyframes, is this it? Let's check out. Here you can see a very little anticipation to the whole animation. Now we can do the same at the end as well when it strikes the body again. We can add some squash at this point as well. So we are going to add again a very little squash. So we can simply copy and paste to this keyframe only. Or else we can simply copy, select all these three keyframes and paste it over here. Let's check it now. Alright, so like this you can animate telephone ringing animation in After Effects. So I would highly recommend you to try it on your own and do let me know if you have any doubt regarding the lesson. So that is it for this lesson. If you liked it, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the lesson, make sure to comment down. I would be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates. Until then, goodbye.